All right, guys, there are two big smallmouth right here, probably two to two and a half pounders. Just cruising up the river, got him. There he is. Oh, fish on. This is the one we were looking for, guys. There he is. And right back there. We're going on a creek fishing adventure today. I'm meeting up with my buddy Pietro to target smallmouth bass in a river that has fish up to five pounds. I've been fishing this spot for a while. I've caught some real monsters. Pietro is just getting into fishing. Our first trip was actually last week. I got him into some wild browns and rainbows, which were the first two fish he's ever caught. So today we're getting out there. I'm gonna to try to get Pietro on some smallmouth bass. There are largemouth in here, some trout, also some carp. So it's really a multi-species river. We're gonna be wet wading all the way down, doing a full send to get on these fish. Hope you guys like the video. How's it going? Yo, man, what's up, dude? One time no see. Yeah. Pretty much for the smallmouth, you wanna be throwing something that either represents like a bait fish or some sort of like crawfish. There are a lot of crawfish in this river. I call my biggest one in here on something like this, like a kai tech. Got him. Oh my God. Huge small jaw hooked up. Monster river smallmouth. Oh my God, he's gonna break the line or something. Let's get this fish landed. No way. Guys, this is why I bass fish right here. That's a four pounder. Absolutely inhaled the Kai Tech. That's an awesome fish. So that's why I'm throwing this swim bait. But a good lure could be like, like a jig like this. You bounce along the bottom. Actually, dude, my number one lure for a while here was just an inline spinner. You want me to rig you up with that? All right, so the plan is we're gonna drive both cars way downstream, probably two miles down, and then bring one car up here way downstream, right? Yeah. Sweet, all right. Get out there. All right, so we just got to the spot and I've been scoping out this bridge for a while, do a little bit of bridge jumping off it. Let's see how deep it is, let's test it. It's a little bit nerve wracking to be honest. It's a pretty far drop. That's a little bit deeper. Ah, oh, it's not deep enough, dude. Might die if I do it. Deep mud. Oh, all right. Oh, you good? Dude, I love seeing you get out here on the sun, bro. All right, so these bait fish over here, I don't know if you guys can see them, all in the shallow water. That's exactly why I'm throwing this power bait swim bait. Whenever I'm fishing a creek, I like to look at the forge, see what these fish are feeding on. Definitely a good sign, because I've had my most luck on swim baits and little like Berkeley clicker shads in this spot. Pietro's got the spinner on, he's just throwing the, the rooster tail out there. One of my favorite lures for just creek fishing, catching really whatever, that might catch sunfish, smallmouth, even a carp would hit that, dude. So we're going to wade upstream under the bridge a little bit. And the plan is to go way downstream, probably hike two miles to the other car that we parked. Dude, I wonder if I could send it back off here and be fine. I mean... I land on my feet. That, that tree really is in the way. You have to jump up here and then out. And right there is my pet deep. I really want to do it, though, for the cam. For the send. All right, it's time to do a little depth check. See how deep is that here. I think it might be deep enough, dude. Oh. All right, it's not terrible. Let's see. Dude, I think it's doable actually. If I land right here, if I'm gonna get out here, I'm gonna get a little bit of adrenaline rush too. Kind of combine a couple different elements, fishing, cliff jumping, or in this case, bridge jumping, really whatever's out here. So it's about eight foot of water right here. It's probably good enough for this size of a bridge, just like a 15, 20 foot drop. Just gonna send a little laid out back flip, land right here in the area that I scoped out. All right, dude, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Set. Woo! All right, so full send, adrenaline rush, check. Now we gotta catch the fish, dude. Let's go downstream. Dude, is, is that a smallmouth? Still on there? Dude, yeah, smallmouth bass. Let's go. Little smally. I'll hold the rod for you. <laughs> nice one, dude. Let's get him back. First small of the day. That was sweet on the inline spinner. Yeah, dude. We stuck it out. The farther we're getting from the pull-off, the more fish. I like what I'm seeing. So we're fishing over here, but I like to always come over to the real shallow parts of the river and check out the bait fish to see what they're eating. Oh, wow. There are a ton of them over here. And I'm throwing this power bait swim bait, so I want to show you guys why I'm throwing this bait. I don't know if I can get really close to these fish. We'll see. Pretty much a perfect imitation of power bait swim bait. But you can see all these bait fish, pretty sizable ones too. I was over in Scotland. I was fly fishing this pay to fish lake. 
in Scotland, that's a lot of what they do. Like they pay to fish lakes, they stock with trout. And all the fish are rising on flies on the surface. And I'm throwing like this slightly bigger fly. You got all these guys with their knickerbockers all the way up to here and like their entire vests. And they look like, like they look so pro. And I'm sitting there pretty much just dressed like this. I had a shirt on, but like regular outfit. I'm catching way more fish than all of them. There we go. Nice small mouth. Hell yeah. Okay, just like I was saying, you don't really need the best gear to get out here and catch these fish. Just literally matching the hash right now. Catch these little river smallmouth. That is not a big one, but it's upgrade in size. It's like a eight, nine inch smallie right there. Just chomp the power bait minnow. Right over there by the fallen tree in the cover. Fishing structure that's out of the ordinary, catching these little guys. Ooh, he's off. Let's go, dude. Let's keep on getting them. I rigged Pietro up with a smaller version of the power bait minnow. This little two inch swim bait right here. I should get it done too. I'm excited to see what we get into down here. Like it's a lot deeper water. There's an undercut bank where the fish sit. I'm thinking, dude, we might catch like a big smallmouth. Big smallies down here. Let's see if they want it, dude. Oh, there he got oh he came for it. Oh my god, dude. No, I see two big ones. Alright guys, there are two big smallmouths right here, probably two to two and a half pounders. Just cruising up the river. Got him! There he is. Oh, fish on. This is the one we were looking for, guys. There he is. Yo, Pietro, I got him, bro. Big smallmouth. Yes. Tank river smallie right here. There's another one that was swimming right next to him. Gonna cast back out, try to get him. That is a great, great start to the day. Not quite two and a half pounds. Solid one and a half, two pounder, though. That's big for this creek. I know in the Delaware River, a trophy smallmouth is like, I think, 16 inches maybe i've caught a few out of here that have been pushing 21 22 inches look at the humpback on this guy awesome fish get him right back there nice small mouth let's go there is another one still in here i'm gonna try to catch him too i knew that if i stuck to the swim bait i'd get some bigger bites although we didn't get a lot of bites coming down here definitely paid off to be throwing this bigger bait that just gets those bigger bites let's keep doing this Got him. Oh, another one right there, dude. Literally right here. Let's see if he comes back. Get a cast in there, too. Shout out to Power Bait for making a really affordable, cheap swim bait that doesn't feel like a cheap swim bait. Like these baits, I've been using them for the past few years. They get a lot of bites, they hold up pretty well, and the action is pretty hard to beat. There he is. Oh, he came back for it again. I don't know if you guys saw that hit. Yo, Pietro, if you want one of these uh, swim baits. I got you. Get, there he is. Yes. You got one too? Little smallmouth. Dude, even these little guys absolutely love the big swim bait. This guy choked it. Dude, Pietro, look how this fish ate the swim bait. Dude, he choked it. All right, you might want to. Oh, you got a sunfish too? We just doubled up? Let's go. That's a beauty. Beautiful double up. Like, this is why I love creek fishing. So much fun. I'm gonna get my small mouth right back there. And then, you wanna release this guy? Oh, yeah. there he goes. Dude, this spot up here looks really good. The current's wrapping around. Got some shade. I'm thinking we're gonna get one. Got him, dude. There he is. Oh, it's a rainbow trout. Dude, trout. Get your spinner up in here, dude. You'll catch him. Yo, he, all right, he's on it, he's on it. Oh, big rainbow, dude. Just took the swim bait. Get a cast right in here. Just like let it sink down. See if you can catch them. That was cool. There are a lot of rainbows right here. Maybe like I could bring a fishing rod too and we could choose a beach. There he is, dude. Big smallmouth. All right. Not quite as big as I thought, but uh, a little smallmouth nonetheless. Trust me, they get a lot bigger than this in here. Surprised that these little guys are so keyed into these. All right, there he is. It's so small, he hit it like a freight train. There he goes. <laughs> All right, there's a nice smallie over here. See if he comes back for sloppy seconds, come on. There he is, dude. Giant. Biggest one of the day. Woo! Let's go. Dude, I hear people down here. I think there's a rope swing or something. Yeah, we're going to. Okay. 
Yeah.